to Crocodile Dock, where fearless kids shine God's light. Hey, let's start off by singing our theme song, I Will Not Be Afraid. everyone. Well, this week and over the next couple of weeks, we're going to continue to learn how God loves us and cares for us. One thing the Bible tells us is that God is powerful. That's the Bible point for today. So when you hear someone say, God is powerful, what do we do? Fear not. That's right. We don't need to be afraid of anything because God is powerful. Fear not. Now, last week, Hey, we had a lot of fun at Crocodile Dock because we learned that God is with us. Fear not. And we learned about God sightings. Where did you see God this last week? Did you notice a beautiful flower or a tree? Did you pray with a family member? Was someone kind to you when you were sad? I want to hear all about it. Why don't you tell me some of your God sightings for this past week. Those are great! And if you couldn't think of one at the last minute, I'm sure you will think of something. You followed through, didn't you? Well, we have such a good God, and it's wonderful that God is with us. Fear not. Now, I have a question. We had a Bible memory buddy to help us last week when we were trying to remember that God is with us. Does anybody remember who that was? That's right, it was Flash the Firefly. Fireflies have special lights that they shine to let fellow fireflies find them. Bing, I'm here. Flash helps us remember that God is with us. Fear not. Hmm, now what Bible memory buddy can help us remember that God is powerful. Fear not. I know Jacques LeCroc. Jacques, thank you, is a crocodile. Look at those powerful jaws. 
look at his powerful tail. Jacques is very, very strong. Our buddy Jacques will help us remember that God is powerful. Fear not. That's right. The verse for today is from the Bible, book Exodus. Exodus 7.17. God answered, I will show you that I am the Lord. Hmm. Remember how we remembered the last Bible verse? Wonder how we could remember this one. Oh, I know. I will show you that I am Lord. Look, I'm making a little crown. I will show you that I am Lord. That's Exodus 7, 17. Remember, God is powerful. Fear not. Today at Crocodile Dock, I'll save you. we're going to learn save you all. all about Skeeter. Well, welcome back. And what are you talking about? I don't think we're in any danger. Are we? The crocodile. The crocodile. I just now realized we're at Crocodile Dock, and I don't want the crocs to get any of us. So I've got my super powerful anti croc fighting weapon here. Skunk spray. Oh. Smells just like 50 skunks have been in the room. Here it goes. No, 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 no. We don't need any of that. You know? What? M maybe, maybe you don't. Crocs are dangerous, and this spray is powerful. So powerful, I can use it with my eyes closed, and those big crocs will go run it. Look out, you crocs! The skunks are coming! Oh, oh. That's not skunk spray. It smells like flowers. <laughs> Wonder what went wrong here. No crocs gonna run from flowers. Well, that's okay, Skeeter. We're learning about someone much more powerful than a crocodile. God! God is powerful. Fear not! More powerful than a skunk, or, or a croc, or a bunch of flowers? More powerful than any and all of them all together. Well, I'll be. I'm going to go tell my cousin Bernard about this. He's the one who gave me the skunk spray. I traded my best bucket of worms for it. Hey, Bernard! Bernie, guess what? I wonder what Skeeter will come up with next. Hi everybody, and thank you for coming back to Crocodile Dock. Last week, if you remember in our Bible story, we met somebody named Moses, and Moses was called by God. God spoke to him through a burning bush, and God gave Moses a really important job to do. Do you remember what it was? That's right. God called Moses to free the Israelite people who were being enslaved and mistreated by the Egyptians. And this is a really powerful and important story because it shows us that God doesn't want anybody to be treated less than somebody else. And so even though Moses wasn't sure he could do it, God called Moses to go to the Pharaoh, to the ruler of Egypt, and demand that he let God's people go so they could be free. But you know what? Pharaoh didn't really get the hint. In fact, it took a lot to make sure that he would let God's people go. And so with the help of some of my friends, I'm going to tell you this story about all the things that God did to get Pharaoh's attention to make sure that people were free. Remember, God is powerful. Fear not. Here's the story. Here we go. Moses said, Let my let people let my go! But Pharaoh didn't let the people go. And so God turned all the water in Egypt to blood. Yuck. Moses said, Let my let people let my go. go. But Pharaoh still didn't listen. And so God sent frogs, frogs everywhere, frogs in the streets, frogs in the houses, and even frogs in the beds. Moses said, 
Let my Let people my go. go. But Pharaoh still didn't listen. This time, God sent gnats, tiny buzzing bugs that would get in your eyes and your nose and even your ears. Moses said, Let, Let my, my people go. go. Can you believe that Pharaoh still wouldn't listen? This time, God sent so many flies that you could barely see. Moses said, Let, Let my, my people go. go. God told Moses to try again, and this time if Pharaoh said no, God would kill all of the Egyptian cattle and horses and sheep. Hey, look at that. Come on, I just got off the tree. Moses said, Let, Let my, my people go. go. This time when Pharaoh wouldn't listen, God sent boils. Boils are like blisters or mosquito bites, only a whole lot worse. You would think after all this that Pharaoh would change his mind and let the people go free. But nope, so God told Moses to try again. Moses said, let, let my, my people, people go. go. And this time when Pharaoh said no, God sent so much hail into Egypt and it killed most of the plants that the Egyptians used for their food. Moses said, let my people go. It's hard to believe, but that still wasn't enough. If Pharaoh said no, God would send a plague of locusts like grasshoppers that eat everything in sight. Sadly, all these plagues were still not enough to get Pharaoh's attention. So God sent another plague, the plague of darkness, and it would be dark for three whole days. It's hard to believe that after all of that, Pharaoh still refused to let God's people go. And there's still one more plague, but we're going to talk about that next week when you come back. The really important thing to remember in this story is that God is powerful. Fear not. And remember that God wants us to be powerful in making sure that nobody is ever treated less than somebody else. I'm going to ask that you pause the video now and talk with your family or your crew about the questions that appear on your screen. Let's close our time together with prayer. If you're able to, follow along and read the words out loud. Dear God, Thank you for using your power to protect us and to set your people free. Help us to trust in you and shine your light wherever we go. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sing a song about shining God's light together now. Can you guys stomp your feet like that? And let's clap together. That's it. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I right, keep clapping now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. That sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
lost in the swamp. Lord, what do you want us to do? I've got an idea. The Monster Croc Swamp Survival Kit. Jasper sold it to me before we left. He made you buy it? We're friends, so he gave me the friends and family five cent discount. What's inside? A uh, croc call. A <coughs> uh, roll of extra strength monster croc rope. What's the brick for? This? This is gum, silly. You throw it in the monster croc's mouth if he gets too close. It's everything we need. Well, you sure are lucky to have me as your guide. Ooh, glowing pterodactyl teeth. Why pterodactyl teeth? Come on, Chatter. Everyone knows the monster croc is terrified of glowing pterodactyl teeth. But they aren't glowing. We need some power to charge them like a flashlight. Hmm. Nope, not in here. All that's left is my pappy's old battery holder. Battery holder? Freighter, that is a flashlight. Well, I'll be a monkey's third cousin twice removed. Oh. <laughs> Boy, this is one powerful flashlight. Well, let's get these teeth powered up. That monster croc will sure be scared when he sees these glowing pterodactyl teeth. <laughs> oh, sweet Maybelline! What was that? The flashlight dropping into the water? No, the other noise. It sounded really big and hungry. The monster croc. If only we could see. Hey, what's that? Those are just fireflies. Can you take those out? Those are just fireflies. Those are just fireflies. God's special flashlights. Hey, that gives me an idea. If only we had a jar in that backpack. You mean like this? a lightning bug lantern to me. We've got so many fireflies we can see again. See, Freighter, it only takes a little light in the darkness. God's power lasts forever. I sure wish God would use his power to get us out of here and save us from the monster crop. Freighter, it's a big firefly. Oh, and he's gonna eat us all. What is that mysterious light? Will Jasper start selling Monster Croc Swamp Survival Kits really cheap? Find out the fate of Chatter and Freighter in the next episode of Chatter's Bayou Adventure. Welcome to day two of Crocodile Dock Vacation Bible School and welcome to my home. This is my safe place, my home. Today's story is about God sending plagues on Egypt and the plague is a disaster that troubles a lot of people. And even though the Egyptians experienced the plagues, the Israelites were kept safe by God. So they had their safe places, their homes. Um, our Bible point for today is, God is powerful, fear not. Let's hear that again. God is powerful, fear not. Okay, God protects us and gives us places where we feel safe. What are some of your safe places? Maybe your home, like my home. Maybe you're, as you're away from home, you can you go to your car if you experience a storm. Um, what if you're... Um, out at a campground or in a, near a tent, would you get into the tent or would you look for maybe a lodge or a cabin where you feel safe? We can always feel safe at church or with our parents. Think about the animals. Where do the animals feel safe? Maybe a bird would find a tree, find a nest to hide in. Maybe a bee would go back to its hive. Maybe a worm would find a hole in the ground. 
or a fish some seaweed. Your God sightings for this week, your challenge, is to think of places where animals and people feel safe. Think about where you feel safe. When you go to bed at night, do you feel safe in your bed? Think about these places that God has given us where we can feel safe even when there's disaster around us. So look for animals, look for places where you can be safe, and remember that God is powerful. Fear not. God takes care of us no matter what. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you God for all these friends that have joined us today. Help us to feel your power and your protection even when there are disasters around us. Keep us safe as we play and enjoy our summer. Thank you for your love and your power. Amen. Okay, remember, God is with us, fear not, and God is powerful, fear not. See you next week. Bye-bye.